<laughs> okay, Frankie. Well, what a, an amazing place to be. Yeah, can not, you believe it? <laughs> and it's not Hollywood, right? It, but you know, it's the mountains and the. It's the, as close as you can get to. I it. mean, the background is, I think, pretty unique, right? Yeah. I How? mean, we say. Goodwood is a most picturesque, but look at this. No, you can't top this. this I, I want to know how, how has it been? How have the last great. six weeks been? It's been fantastic. I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, took me one or two meetings to get back into the American mode. It's mm. much different. Mm. But I, I slotted him real good. All the things that I learned 35 years ago has all come back to me. So uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, bit of regret then I didn't do this maybe 10 years ago yeah and I waited till my last year to do it but hey uh, let's let's make the most of it and what about the Californian energy is very zen that vibe the healthy lifestyle does that suit you is it that kind of the environment kind of bring out the best in Frankie as well uh, everything is a lot earlier obviously we got to work early mm. our first day is at 12 but we also finish early so everything's early and we have dinner at half past five but but uh, yeah, it really suits me. Uh, I, I tried also to uh, make the most of my spare time. Mm -hmm. I went to see the Lakers a couple of times. I went skiing in Big Bear. I went to San Francisco. Uh, I did a few. I went to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did a few. You know, tried to keep myself occupied and make the most of it. Did you see LeBron James the other night I did, getting yes. his? I yeah. The record, yes. Uh, I was actually on the way to the airport to see to pick up Catherine and uh, mm -hmm. she ran me, she said, I'm, I'm outside. I said, listen, it's only, it's only six points away from Beret in the record, because can you just hold on there for <laughs> 10 minutes? I said, no, you're a nice, nice husband. Most of the husbands are there with balloons and flowers. <laughs> there you are at the Lakers game. <laughs> no, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was history. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, like being here, you've got all these Hollywood characters, yeah. you've got the, the kind of spectacle and that's what makes it's a good start, starting point for this final year, do you feel? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this, is where, uh, this is where I started 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. I just lived at the bottom of those mountains, a little place called Sierra Madre. And uh, I did four winters here and uh, good memories, lots of characters. A lot of things have changed, obviously, now. After yeah. 35 years, you expect different people here, but uh, is. Uh, you know, I felt it was, it'd be very fitting to finish where I started, so yeah. this is the place. And what about the, the horses that you've been riding over the country grammar? There was a lot of pressure to be, get back on him and complete your unbeaten record together, but surely that first day was better than you ever expected. Well, I, I, um, my great manager and friend, Ron Anderson, he took my book and he said, listen, uh, if you want to look serious and, mm. and make this your final year, I think, uh, it'd be worth your while to get here for opening day. So that means sacrificing Christmas at home. But, mm -hmm. you know, my kids are old enough. They're not kids anymore, they're adults. And all is, the only thing they want is a bit of money in their bank account for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think they believe uh, Father Christmas coming down the chimney anymore. But, <laughs> so, it, you know, obviously I had to sacrifice there, but, uh, you know, I showed people that I was committed. Mm -hmm. I didn't realise that country drama was running on the first day, but uh, you know it was a pressure ride, and he won. And uh, yeah, great, I had a treble, so yeah, was, couldn't ask for a better start, you know. Yeah, people, you know, that w watch you and have been watching you for the last how many years always see that when you we go to different places, you you thrive on challenges. You're a bit of a chameleon. You come here and you fit in. You go off to Saudi, you fit in. Is that something that you feel like has been your biggest strength over the years? I need the challenge, I need something that tickles me and uh, I get uh, kind of bored very quickly and my wife said I'm, uh, <laughs> I've got a, 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 a concentration span of a flea. <laughs> <laughs> it must be really small. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need the new challenges. Look, you know, after you've been doing it for 36 years, it's, it's quite normal that you need new challenges and uh, mm -hmm. this is something that I've never done before. So. It was the very fitting uh, challenge for my last year. And as you say, you need to be busy all the time and you're giving yourself a very busy schedule. So if we think about what you've got coming up next, we're obviously here for another week, you're going away with your wife, but then Saudi is the next step. And Saudi 
you've really promoted, you've been really helpful in promoting the Saudi Cup. Why is it that you, what is it about it that you have really enjoyed and what do you, are you looking forward to next week? Well, I think it falls in a uh, great time. Mm. Suits the American horses. Uh, you know, it's just a month before the Dubai World Cup. So horses can do both, mm -hmm. like Andrew Grammer did. Uh, it's the richest race in the world. And uh, they, they, they put a lot into it. Uh, it's not just the Saudi Cup, it's the, the undercard is pretty amazing. So, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I, I, unfortunately, he's, well, uh, he's only three or four years old. You know, I wish he started 20 years ago. But nevertheless, I have a, um, a very solid horse. Yeah. Touch wood, that's up. Uh, he ships well and stays in one piece. And uh, yeah, uh, he's very solid. And he was second last year, and mm. I'm looking forward to ride him again. And what do you think it has been about your association with him? Because obviously you've got out the best of him. His performance has been explosive when you've been on board. Is there, is he a kind of horse that you've just enjoyed I just, working out? It's amazing like how, you know, being in the right place. I was actually, uh, I was invited to a polo game in Dubai to watch, you know, I'm not an expert, some sort of championship polo mm. match. And Amir Zidane had the team and he was playing and then I got to meet him and he told me that he won the Kentucky Derby, then he had country grammar, you know, it was, it was a big fan of mine and we, we, we had a good chat together and, uh, and then I was actually at Cheltenham a month later and I was, uh, I got a phone call saying that uh, country grammar was spare in the World Cup mm -hmm. because Flavian meant to write something else. Mm -hmm. So luckily for me, I had uh, Amir Zidane's number and I called him and I put my name in the hat just because I went to watch a polo game, mm -hmm. I ended up on country ground. And obviously they were sworn and then we are more friends now, we keep in touch. And uh, yeah, but I know, I know about 30 years. And funny enough, I never actually rode for him. I galloped horses for him, mm -hmm. but never rode in a race for him. So. How, how bizarre that yeah. my first ride for him, I win the World Cup, right? Yeah, that's huge. And then obviously he's a, he's originally from Saudi, isn't he, the, the owner? Yes. So having the Saudi Cup as a goal for him, but also in your final year, that yeah. would be yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, he's got two in the race, obviously, the tape, but he's a pretty good horse in his own yeah. right, again, for Bob's. So, yeah, he's very excited. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of the, the time you're going around internationally, it's not just about the race riding, but it's also, as I say, the friends that you've met and the yes. contacts. So will this year be quite bittersweet in a way that you're going to see a lot of old friends and ride for a lot of people who probably want to put you up on their horses and sort of have a sort of farewell party with your, with your friends as well? Yeah, I'll be honest with you, that's the reason why I give myself a year, because I didn't want to just let go last, last minute. So, you know, it will be my last Saudi Cup and then I'm riding with uh, in the jockeys challenge with, mm -hmm. uh, with some great jockeys then obviously i come back then I, the dubai world cup and then i start uh, my guest summer in the european tour i to go all the places that to say my last goodbyes i can't name them all but you know yeah. all the obvious ones at times will be very emotional i would say i would, I would find uh, probably saturday of asco very difficult because yeah. it'd be my last day uh, yeah, and uh, I kind of highly likely make Champions Day my last day at, yeah. uh, at, at ASCO. Yeah. So uh, in Europe. And then I guess I'll, uh, I'll finish up here in uh, Raiders Cup. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.